We looking real, real Thanksgiving and pumpkin pie already, child. Yes, y'all. I'll show y'all my outfit later. I don't know why I'm trying to show y'all now. Y'all probably like, what the hell? So it's going to be like a little cute, foggy, ready with me. Do my makeup and show you guys my outfit. But y'all, look at my hair. Can you guys tell? Like, I know if you follow me on Instagram, which you should be. Y'all know I got my hair redyed. But look at the color. Like, is it a big difference or does it like kind of look the same? I'm going to go ahead and finish my makeup. It's apparent that I started on my eyebrows. But I want to tell you guys about... Dossier, if you guys don't know about Dossier, you know the perfume people. I know that y'all have seen it, right? Like, so they send their perfume bottles out and they're like really minimalistic looking and just have like the white label on it. Anyway, they sent me some perfumes, y'all. I got two, and this is so so cool. I did not know that in the box with the perfumes, they have like little sample sizes of the actual perfume that they sent you. Well, they sent me two, so it's like a sample size with the perfume, y'all. And if you don't like the sample, you can send it right on back. No cost to you, get your money back. It's free returns. And I just thought that was really, really cool. Actually, today I'm gonna wear Fresh Floral One. Oh, it smells so good. So I have Fresh Floral One, and then I have Floral Two. And Floral Two is real flowery, but it's say floral. And the Floral One is like flowers, but it's like very light and fresh and not so like heavy. And they come with little cards to tell you like about the notes that's in your perfume. Well, you'll know that before you order it. But like Fresh Floral One was inspired by Versace's Bright Crystal. And the notes are, the top notes are pomegranate, yuzu, ice decor, and like the middle notes are peony, magnolia, base notes are amber musk, mahogany. It tell you what you're getting before you get it, but then it also gives you the little cute sample so you can try it. And if you don't like it, Go ahead and send it back. Make sure that the bigger bottle, if you, you know, tried a little small bottle and you don't like it, it has to still be sealed and then you can send it back. So if you don't open it, <laughs> girl, you got to keep it. But that's why they give you the little cute sample bottle so you don't have to open the big one to know if you like it or not. And just like the Fresh Floral One is inspired by Versace's Bright Crystal, all of their scents are inspired by like cult classics. So they got like Gucci, y'all, Chanel all that i'll have links in everything in the description box as always but let's go ahead and get into this face now well today i was bougie and i used my nars creamy radiant concealer instead of my uh la girl pro conceal and this is in the color caramel so i went ahead and basically like did my brows and i concealed under so now i'm gonna just put some concealer on the lid to get ready for eyeshadow application you guys i am thinking about some oranges and some reds today I don't know why, but I mean, it's fall, so, and Thanksgiving is in a few days, so I don't see why I do, I wouldn't want, like, you know, Thanksgiving vibes all over my face. So, I basically, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do some real Thanksgiving-like looking makeup, but it's going to be fierce, though. Of course. For eyeshadow palettes, I'm going to be using the Mora Dreamscape palette here with all of these beautiful colors. I know y'all see that. And I'm going to be using the Morphe, I think this is, it's 3-5M Boss Move Palette. And it's very fall-like. So, Mora is bright and colorful and the Morphe palette is very, very fall-like. So, the first color is just going to be like this orange color here in the Morphe palette. And I'm going to take a fluffy brush for Morphe as well. It's the E23 brush. And this is going to be like basically my base color or like my, my transition color. I'm going to blow all of these colors out though. If you guys ever pay attention, like I love blown out colors. Like on my lid, I like to like blow them out totally over the whole eye. And I'm not... And I also like to sometimes just do one shadow. So, like, if I'm doing orange, it may be different shades, but it's just going to be, like, a whole bunch of orange, like, all over my eyelid. Like, I love those blown-out, 
dramatic colorful looks we looking real real thanksgiving and pumpkin pie already child yes y'all orange and green is like a move even though like this shit looks like nickelodeon <laughs> So I'm actually going to take the same brush and go into the more with Dreamscape palette and use this like super duper bright orange right here because I just want this orange to be a little bit more bright before I start adding like some shades of red. So this uh, Moira Dreamscape palette came from the beauty supply y'all so like it's not the best quality like the eyeshadows sometimes be thin and <laughs> And you got to work with this child. It's not, they're not buttery and like smooth and soft like the Morphe palettes and stuff. So girl, you got to do what you got to do, okay? And now I'm going to go back in with the Morphe palette and use like this dark brick red color. And with this, I am using the Morphe M441 brush, which is another blending brush. But it's just not as dense as the morphe e23 that i was using before and i'm gonna put this like in the crease as well basically you guys like with all of these colors on top of each other it's just gonna look like different shades of orange and red but that's fine that's kind of what i was going for because yeah <laughs> i like to stack colors on top of each other and like blow it out how many times i'm gonna say that now I'm going to basically, I don't want to say cut crease because I'm not really, I don't do the whole cut crease thing like that. Like y'all, I'm real basic. But I'm going to take some concealer. It's just going to be the NARS concealer I used already. And I'm going to make like a base for the next color that I put on my lid to like pop. It's going to be a more vibrant red color from the Moira Dreamscape palette. The flat brush that I'm using to uh, place this lid color on is a Sigma Sweeper E54. And literally, you just like pack it, like thump it. And you guys can see it's just a lot of orange and red on my eyes. <laughs> like, it's just, a, it just looks like exactly what I did. I just took different shades of orange and red and like blend them into each other. So this is what I meant by blown out. Like it looks like I just took one color, honestly, or maybe two and just like dragged them up over my whole eyes, which I kind of did, but it was three <laughs> colors. But that's what I mean by blown out. It just, it kind of looks like all one. It doesn't look like a lot is going on, even though we use like three colors. But um, I don't think I'm gonna put, do I want liner or no? Actually, no, I'm not gonna put on any liner. I'm just gonna throw some lashes on. The brand is Purple and Pink Beauty. Um, ooh, let's see if I can find an Instagram page. I'm sure that I can. These are SA001's description box. <laughs> but uh, yeah, these are real cute. So I'm gonna pop these on real quick. We gonna move on. Okay, hey, listen. I love like when I do my eyes and I'm like, girl, we good. Like we could just stop right here and live our best life but we'll continue on now it's time to prime our skin and i'm using the hourglass veil primer oh which i love so much you guys it's so freaking soft also i will say that it is very good for oily skin like i was afraid at first because it's so thin and like watery that it was not going to keep me together but it definitely does um also it probably helps the fact that i set my primer with an actual powder to just make sure ensure that I'm going to be super oil free. So I'm actually going to use Airspun today for my setting powder of choice. I haven't used it in a while and I'm going to take a fluff sponge and just take that powder and set the primer. Looking like this, it's safe to say that it's time for foundation. Um, y'all, I only have, I have a little bit of black opal left that I showed you guys like in my previous makeup tutorial. I think we're going to go ahead and use it because I only have Maybelline and then I have my Lancome. You know what? No, baby. Since we used our NARS, we were like high in with our concealer. I'm going to go ahead and put on my Lancome that I never ever wear. It was like freaking $50 a bottle. It's the Tint Idoli Ultra Wear. I know I probably butchered that, but yeah. The color is 465 Suede C. 
But of course, everything will be in the description box. I usually apply my foundation with a beauty blender, or I have been for quite a while, but I'm actually gonna use a brush today. The brush would be Morphe M439. Y'all, I love, if you couldn't tell from me, like doing my eyeshadows, like all of my brushes that I adore are Morphe or Sigma and they're bomb. But I'm gonna take this brush. This brush is just like my go-to foundation brush even though i don't really use a brush that much because i've been using my beauty blender when i do use a brush this is the brush that i use or i'll use a stipple brush that i have from sigma but that doesn't give you as much full coverage because it's a stipple brush and i'm just bouncing my brush around i don't wipe really i just kind of like bounce it around because you want first of all you don't want it to be streaky and then you want that coverage so you don't want to share it out now i'm going to go ahead and take the nars creamy radiate concealer and put it in the areas that i highlight which would be under my eyes because child it is the darkness okay and my nose and my chin those are the only areas that i typically highlight or conceal uh, my chin because i don't know i have a pointy face <laughs> And so, like, I highlight my chin because, I don't know, it just makes me feel like I give my face more of a brightening effect. I don't know. This NARS concealer is brighter than the LA Girl concealer that I usually use. So, like, it's real bright. It makes me look, like, real made up when I use this concealer. I think this concealer is, like, doggone almost $20. I think it's, like, 16 so it's not too bad but yeah so like it is a very dramatic as you can see like it's real bright i like it though like i'm not afraid to be bold and bright but um yeah it's way brighter than the la girl pro concealer but in terms of quality honestly i don't notice a difference so like i guess i could just use a brighter um la girl pro concealer but i do like this concealer and I'm gonna set everything with the airspun powder. You guys don't, you know I don't bake, so like I just put my powder on and then I push it in. Now I'm gonna set my entire face, so I'm gonna have to go in with a powder, my skin tone, and I'm gonna be using the Derma Blend um, Warm Saffron Loose Setting Powder. This is pretty much what I've been using to set my face since I got it. So like, wow, two years ago. On to contouring, which is my favorite thing to do. Today I'm going to be using the Ruby Kisses Mineral Powder to contour, and this is the color Ebony. I'm just going to take a large, um, like a blush looking brush, but it's actually the e.l.f. Complexion Brush. And i go ahead and add the warmth back to my face, child. I absolutely love contouring, but I do love to highlight too. Like, I love all of it really, but like, I think highlighting and contouring is my favorite because it just brings back the character to your face after you have like blanked everything out and made like a blank canvas with the um the foundation and everything this gonna add some color i'm gonna put some on my forehead i usually don't i did it in my last video and i don't know i'm gonna do it again <laughs> and then my next favorite is touching up this nose child okay so i'm going to blow out my eyeshadow at the bottom um of my face and what i usually do is just take the brushes that i don't really put none on at first like i don't put any more eyeshadow whatever was left over i kind of just sweep under and if i need to add some i will but you want to kind of just see how much you already got because you can always add more but once it's on there it's kind of hard to take off without taking off everything and now i'm going to add some mascara on my bottom lashes i don't usually line my bottom lashes um not for a particular reason i just usually like when i put the mascara on it's just dark enough for my liking so i don't line them okay so moving on to highlighter first i'm gonna spray my face to get it ready for highlighter and that was just the mario badescu setting spray or facial spray and for highlighter today i'm going to be using mac golden bronze y'all this is one of the first highlighters i ever bought i think i got this like in 2013 and it's discontinued and i have so much of it because like the loose setting powders last forever and i'm so grateful yes 
I don't know what, because I like highlighting too, y'all. I just, like, the whole process is lit, but... Okay, so highlight. I already said highlighting, but I meant like the concealer highlighting. But actually adding like highlighting powder too is like lit. Because it's like, I keep saying like, <laughs> it's the icing on the cake of makeup application. It's like, you're polished now. Oh my God, y'all. So I forgot to add blush. I definitely forgot to add blush. Like I usually do blush before contouring, but... Anywho, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to do um, MAC Sketch. I used this last time. This is like the brush that I use every day. And I forgot. And now I'm going to spray my face with the Urban Decay D Sleek. Okay, and so you guys know the drill for the lips. Of course, I'm going to be using a brown liner. I just have like random ones laying around, but they're all like from the drugstore. So this is NK Makeup, just dark brown, like automatic liner. And for lipstick, I'm going to be using my favorites or one of my favorite matte lipsticks of all time from MAC. And it is World, y'all. I absolutely love world and i'm not gonna put no lip gloss on today because i want world to have its full i want world to get its full attention so nothing just world because y'all got to know this is like one of the best neutral lipsticks for brown dark skin oh my god i love world look at this Okay, guys, so let me show you my outfit. Okay, guys, so this is my outfit. I know you guys probably have seen this before if you saw all of my fashion overhauls because I don't know which one I did it in, but it was a recent fashion overhaul, y'all. So the bottoms are extra large. Of course, obviously, this is a set. The bottoms are extra large, and it's a set, so the top is extra large. But as you can see, the bottoms are not giving me any problems, like, baby, they there. But this top is freaking huge, so it's kind of big. I don't even have any shoes on while I'm trying to show y'all my outfit. But that's okay, I'm just going to put on them little Target boots, y'all, that I had got. Y'all remember them Target little wannabe Uggs? Yes. And look at this, y'all. I have a freaking stain on my leggings because I spilled freaking um, eye gl <laughs> eyelash glue during my tutorial, so there's that. But yeah, this is my outfit. I also want to give you guys a better view of my hair. Oh my God, y'all, look at this makeup. It turned out really, really nice. It's very, very pretty, actually. But look at my hair, y'all. Is it just like so, so green now? I got, it's like a, more like an apple green. It's still kind of neon because it's really bright. But it's not like tennis ball green like it was before, if anybody's like wondering the difference. But that's it, guys, for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're still here, leave me a turkey emoji because this was like a Thanksgiving-inspired eyeshadow all on my face. Kind of like I have sweet potatoes on my face. Leave a sweet potato emoji, actually. Mm -hmm. And I'll see you guys in my next video.